Turkey has taken a decisive step toward reshaping its naval capabilities with the unveiling of the TF-2000 air defense destroyer, a ship that promises to become the most advanced surface combatant in the country's history. Presented with updated specifications at the IDF 2025 Defense Exhibition in Istanbul, the destroyer is being developed under the Milgem program by ASFIT, a state-owned defense contractor. Slated for launch in 2028 and full operational delivery in 2030, the vessel embodies Ankara's ambitions to strengthen its naval defense network and assert greater influence across surrounding seas. At nearly 149 meters in length, the TF-2000 is designed as a high-capacity, multi-mission destroyer with one central purpose, to secure Turkish waters and provide a credible shield against airborne threats including the increasingly dangerous specter of ballistic missiles. ASFIT emphasized that the ship will integrate multi-layered defense systems capable of countering short-dash, medium-dash, and long-range missiles, positioning the platform not only as a maritime guardian, but also as a strategic asset for mainland defense. The vessel's construction is scheduled to begin in earnest with steel cutting later this year at Istanbul Naval Shipyard Command. ASFIT has announced that the ship will be built in roughly 60 blocks, a modular approach that accelerates production and allows greater flexibility in the integration of evolving technologies. Officials have said that the first full block is expected to be completed before the end of 2025, setting the pace for the vessel's assembly. During the exhibition, ASFIT CEO Mustafa Ilbaz and Turkish Navy Commander Admiral Erkument Tatlioglu formalized the construction contract in a signing ceremony at the stand of the Presidency of Defense Industries. The agreement covers the first vessel, but the program's scale and importance suggest that more ships are likely to follow. The TF-2000 has undergone several design updates since its early concept stage with the latest iteration showcasing significant adjustments in sensor layout and electronic warfare architecture. According to defense outlet Turdef, the destroyer now incorporates a redesigned mast that provides a more robust integration of the CAFRID radar system. CAFRID, Turkey's indigenous dual-band ESA radar suite, lies at the heart of the TF-2000's combat power. In its latest configuration, the system positions the X-band multifunction radar lower on the mast, optimizing it for precision targeting, while the larger S-band long-range searching radar acts as the primary detection component. Fixed electronic warfare arrays now sit above the targeting radar, a change that enhances the destroyer's ability to detect, jam, and counter enemy signals. These adjustments not only improve the radar's effectiveness, but also elevate the ship's electronic warfare capabilities beyond those of the I-Class frigates, currently among the most advanced platforms in the Turkish fleet. With this configuration, the TF-2000 is envisioned as a central node in Turkey's integrated air and missile defense architecture. The destroyer's mission extends far beyond traditional sea control. ASFIT officials have described the ship as a game-changer that will defend not only maritime approaches, but also Turkish territory itself. This dual role reflects a doctrinal shift in how Turkey views the responsibilities of its navy in relation to broader national defense. Emerging technologies are also being factored into the TF-2000 program. Plans are under discussion to integrate unmanned surface vessels, USVs, and swarm-capable drones into the destroyer's operational framework. These systems could provide force multiplication, reconnaissance, and asymmetric strike options, enhancing the vessel's flexibility in both conventional and unconventional scenarios. One of the most significant implications of the TF-2000 project lies not in its hardware, but its impact on military doctrine and organizational structure. Traditionally, Responsibility for defending Turkish airspace, including against ballistic missile threats, has rested with the Air Force. By equipping the Navy with a destroyer capable of intercepting such threats, the TF-2000 program blurs traditional lines of authority. Defense analyst Artem of Ludoglu has emphasized that this development requires more than bureaucratic coordination. For the destroyer to operate at its full potential, it must receive real-time data from land-based radars, airborne early warning platforms, 
and intelligence systems. This demands seamless integration of command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, C4ISR, systems across multiple branches of the armed forces. The ship's ballistic missile defense role forces a rethinking of doctrine, Mavlutoglu noted. It is not just a matter of dividing responsibility between the Air Force and Navy. Instead, it requires a true merging of operational capabilities and a high degree of interoperability. This inter-service integration could have far-reaching consequences. The destroyer may become a catalyst for stronger cooperation between branches of the Turkish military, potentially creating a more unified defense structure. If achieved, this would represent a major leap in Turkey's ability to conduct joint operations in both peacetime and conflict. The TF-2000 program is not developing in a vacuum. The Eastern Mediterranean, Aegean, and Black Sea have become increasingly contested regions where naval presence often translates directly into political leverage. Greece's acquisition of French-built Belhera frigates, Russia's aggressive naval posture in the Black Sea, and NATO's shifting maritime strategies all form the backdrop against which Turkey is building its first true destroyer. By fielding a vessel with advanced radar, long-range detection, and ballistic missile defense, Turkey is signaling its intent to secure strategic autonomy while also contributing more substantially to NATO's maritime operations. The ship's capabilities could provide a critical shield for allied forces operating in contested areas, while also giving Ankara greater influence in regional security dynamics. Despite the promise of the TF-2000, challenges remain. Complex systems integration, particularly in C4ISR, is notoriously difficult and requires years of testing and refinement. Any delays in radar performance, missile defense systems, or inter-service data sharing could slow the project. Additionally, the geopolitical environment may place external pressures on the program, especially if tensions rise with neighboring powers or if global supply chains for advanced electronics and weapons face disruption. Nonetheless, Turkey's determination to press ahead with the program underscores its long-term strategic priorities. The destroyer is more than a warship. It is a symbol of Ankara's drive for defense self-sufficiency, technological innovation, and regional influence. The TF-2000 destroyer represents a bold leap forward for the Turkish Navy and the country's defense industry. With its advanced CAFRD radar suite, layered missile defense capabilities, and adaptability for emerging technologies, the vessel is poised to redefine the boundaries of Turkish naval power. Yet its true impact may lie in how it reshapes doctrine, fostering unprecedented cooperation between the Air Force, Navy, and other branches of the armed forces.